Alright, what's up? I've got a quick screencast today about how to route a custom domain name to Heroku. Now I have a Heroku app already created called Done With 21. Heroku will provide you by default with a domain name, yourapp.herokuapp.com. If I click on it, I'll see my beautiful application. In this case, it's just a message for America to lower their drinking age. Now I have the domain name, donewith21.com. And if I click on it now, I'll see that I get an error message. That's because my domain name is pointing to files that don't exist. And instead, I want it to point to my Heroku application so that I can use this custom URL. So how do I do it? Well, I'm going to use a DNS hosting manager, which in my case is DNS Simple. DNS Simple makes it really easy to manage all your DNS records for all your domain names in a really easy to use interface. Now, a domain, man a domain service manager like DNS Simple is going to serve as the brains of your operation. You're going to give it a request, it's going to figure out what to do with it, and it's going to route it to the proper location. One thing to note is that DNS Simple is not a free service. It costs $3 a month, but you get the first month for free, and for all the hassle it saves you, $3 is well worth the cost. So I've got an account already, let me log in with always be coding at gmail.com enter in my password so I'll log in and add my domain which in this case is donewith21.com now I see that it comes up here and I'm gonna click on services um, one good thing about DNS Simple is that it provides you with a list of services that you're likely going to be changing your DNS records for, and it tries to take its best guess on how you want to use it so that you really don't have to do anything. It does have a Heroku service, so I will add that. And I'll go back to my domain list. I'll go to dumb21.com and I'll click on this little gear here. And I'll see that it provided me with two things, an alias and a C name. C name stands for canonical name. That's the www dot address that we want to point to Heroku. And an alias, which is just for the non www dot domain where we can point anywhere we want. Um, in this case, it also points it to Heroku, but we actually don't need to point it directly to Heroku, we can just point it to our www address. That way we only have one thing pointing to Heroku and this just aliases for this. Now as the date that I'm recording this, which is uh, September 27th, 2012, Heroku wants you not to point to proxy.herokuapp.com, but the actual name of your app, which is dumbwith21.herokuapp.com, and you can find that in the Heroku documentation. So I changed my C name to dumbwith21.herokuapp.com, and I changed my alias to dumbwith to the www address, and that's it. DNS Simple knows now to take requests for www.dumbwith21.com and point them to Heroku. But we're not done yet. We still have a little bit more to do because when the HTTP request comes in for www.dumbwith21.com, it's not going to know to go to DNS Simple. The first thing it's going to go to is the registrar. And we want to tell the registrar give it some instructions to point to DNS Simple. We say, Registrar, you don't need to handle this request. All you need to do is point it to DNS Simple and it will handle the request. Now, in order to do that, we need to alter the name servers. If we go back to DNS Simple and we go to my, uh, if we go to my domain and hit return to domain, um, you'll see that it gives you this menu here and says, if you haven't already, please change your name servers to ours. If I click on it, I'll see I get four items, ns1, ns234.dnssimple.com. And all I need to do is go to my registrar and set their name servers to these, and that will tell the registrar to point to DNS Simple to handle the request. So let me copy this and go to my registrar, which is in my case GoDaddy. Let me log into my account. Hmm. Now your registrar might be different, but I'm sure that the menu will be somewhat similar. All you need to do is go to your domains or and go to the domain in question and just hit launch or whatever the applicable uh, domain menu on your registrar is. Find the section called name servers and hit set name servers. I have specific name servers for my domain and I'll paste in ns1.dnssimple.com, ns2 ns3 and ns4. This will tell the registrar to point to DNS Simple and we already told DNS Simple 
to point to Heroku. Now, these changes usually take two hours. That's actually pretty accurate. They'll normally take at least half an hour to take effect, so you need to have a little bit of patience. Now, we're almost done, but there's one thing left to do. We have to tell Heroku to listen for a request on that domain. So if I go back to my Heroku app, I just type in here www.donewith21.com, hit add, and now Heroku knows to listen for requests coming from that domain. So we got it first going to the registrar. Registrar, via changing the name servers, is going to know to route its DNS simple. DNS simple, if we go back to my domain uh, here, it's going to know to take these requests and send it to the Heroku app. And then Heroku is going to know to listen for it and know to uh, put it on this app a little bit later now. One thing that I forgot to do though was to just add the regular donewith21.com to my Heroku domain so it knows to listen on that domain name as well. Now once I add that I'll see that I added it to my Heroku account. It's right there. And if I go back to my link that was forbidden previously and hit enter you'll see that now that it roots to lower the drinking gauge which is the app that I created. So that's all that there is to routing a DNS address and a custom domain to Heroku. And hopefully that's helpful, and remember, always be coding.